like um i i kind of had this thought like my parents are from mexico from you know a ranch in mexico and my grandma mm. was a devout catholic and she didn't know like maybe i don't know if she knew like a lot of the theology you know the 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 advanced theology that many study today around the world a lot of theologians but she received that communion and she prayed that rosary and that simpleness there's a beauty in that simpleness where it's just that love that you're you're talking about right now scott that well you you are you are gesturing towards our lady of guadalupe of course <laughs> you know and so yeah. you look at mexico and how our lord worked through our lady and saint juan diego in the most unexpected way you know yeah. so many educated christians in europe in the 20 years leading up to our lady of guadalupe had made their protests and had broken from the pope and accused and made allegations about all of the corruptions many of which were probably true and so right. protestantism was a protest movement that led nine million Christians out of the Catholic fold. Wow. And then Our Lady of Guadalupe, not working with people who have PhDs, who are professors and scholars and intellectuals, yeah. but peasants, right. humble, poor, but rich in faith. Wow. And so I, I can't help but wonder if New Spain, as Mexico was called, had to kind of put old Spain in a position of humility by showing how it's awesome to study the faith. Salamanca, right. the Dominicans in Spain were, uh, are, still are. It's one of the greatest resources or treasuries of Catholic theological insight, wisdom. But at the end of the day, I would rather have the, the wisdom of Our Lady and St. Juan Diego than all of the knowledge and all of the books in the libraries, you know. And so right. it, you shouldn't have to choose one or the other. But when you do, make sure you make the right choice, and that is the wisdom of God, the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. You know, and that will lead us to true knowledge that will also lead us to keep the commandments with the humility of sinners who know they're saved by the medicine of God's mercy. But I do think we have a lot to learn from that kind of faithfulness. Viva Cristo Rey. <laughs> yes, amen. Amen. That's so that's so awesome. And um yeah, I don't know why that thought came to me cuz I see like you know in the university system the the um academics in Christianity and then I see the that simpleness you just spoke about Juan Diego oh, yeah. and just that it's lo it's just like love, like a powerful love and then that that faith, that faith in, in Christ our Lord and Savior. I mean, and I'm I'm learning. I'm always learning. I'm trying to grow. Like okay, I, like I have to. You know, I'm I'm still learning myself this minute, this second. Um, to be more humble, and you know, I'm always looking to learn, Scott. I mean. Well, I I am too, but I tell you, Our Lady has become my primary professor my mentor. Um, you know, I'm a scholar, I'm a professor, I'm a doctor and all of that. But I remember what Mother Angelica said to me shortly after I got my PhD. You know, I was sitting with her, we were oh. getting ready to have an hour together. And I made sure that my name was on the screen with a PhD. And right. she rolled her eyes. I'm like, what's wrong? She <laughs> said, at the end, it doesn't matter how many letters you have after your name. The only thing that matters is whether you end up with two letters in front of your name, <laughs> S-T. We're here to become saints. And I'm like, man, that is wisdom. Give that woman an honorary doctorate. You know? Wow, wow. And I, I do, I ask Our Lady, please teach me not only the Bible, because I, she conceived the Word incarnate in her womb, you know, but she conceived him in her heart before he came to her womb, as St. Augustine said. And so I've asked her, you know, teach me to read the Bible, teach me to theologize, but I mean, also give me your heart right. so that what I learn, I will live and share with that humble joy that comes from you, our mother. Wow. 